Welcome to Chicago Reacts. I'm Sonia the Thespian and... I am Kit. Yes. And today we will be reacting to uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 4 Zero Punctuation suggested by Kostya444. And if you want to be like Kostya444, uh, type it in the comments section below what fun video we should react to and we'll get to it as fast as possible, Chicago style way. And be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and be sure to check out all of our other fun videos yes. in the Chicago Reacts YouTube oh, channel. Let's uh, watch this video. Let's get started. I'm ready. Hit it. I know Call of Duty and I have had our ups and downs, well, had our downs and downs and more downs, and just when we thought we couldn't go any further down, we broke new ground and discovered a sealed off basement where a family of horny pigs were passing around the corpus of Modern Warfare 1. But when okay. I saw that Cod Blobs 4 was coming out, I felt renewed vigour. After having to plough through so many RPGs and open worlds in very limited time, I was in the right mood for a nice straightforward four hour story campaign, and hell, as a white person, it'll be nice to see the genetic superiority of my race being confirmed for a little while. <laughs> that was when Cod Blobs 4 laid its knob across my porridge for the first time. No single player campaign. Well, Activision, as Millerad Petrovich said in response to the invasion of Yugoslavia, The fuck? We thought you'd be pleased, Yards. Every story campaign of every COD game you've played in years you call racist and overblown and taken straight from what insecure NRA members see when they close their eyes and touch themselves. At least we didn't hire <laughs> Kit Harrington this time. Granted. But having removed the single player, are you going to charge less for the game? <laughs> oh, Yardsy, I can see why people say you're a funny guy. 130 <laughs> bucks, the deluxe version. What? The no, 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 uh, no. I'm okay. No. 130 bucks, ah, uh, that's... That's like nine items at Costco. Seven. I mean, something. Minimum. They can go towards the no, rent. No, no, no. I don't think so. No the way. treatment engineer said of his favorite outflow pipe, that's taking a lot of piss. I can see why it's not on Steam. Steam has user reviews. There'd be a big fat mostly negative next to the name before you can say Eric Prince. Still, saying the game has no single player content would doubtless annoy a few marketing types. Of course there's single player content, they would say. You can play the tutorial missions as many times as you like. There are 10 playable characters and a little tutorial for each and they're worth going through just because the person narrating them is the most insecure man in the universe and for Call of Duty that's saying something. Yeah, press that grenade key. Knock knock motherfuckers, it's your birthday and the party clowns here. You're a stone cold brass bald killer and you're gonna have their ass for supper. I'd like to put your penis in my mouth. I mean take you to a steak restaurant what? and an <laughs> using nothing but the pressure cooker effect of my giant balls. He's great. It's like listening to Jeremy Clarkson's stream of consciousness while he's using the communal shower at the YMCA. And by doing these missions you also unlock the story. But the story had to be somewhere. Without story there's no context and even a multiplayer yeah. game needs context. Shuts up. Yes it does. If you don't need context there are literally hundreds of ways you could scratch your itch of wanting to shoot you human-shaped things with a gun, although maybe stick to video games if you're planning to do it more than once. Story cutscenes are gradually unlocked as you complete the character tutorials, so here's the story as I understood it. Very rich white lady is sad because her sister died in a gun battle and in response gathers ten elite mercenaries from around the world so that they can gun battle, in aid of something. She says something about ending war, but I don't think you do that with gun battles. That's no. like enlisting major no. game no. publishers in a campaign for reasonably priced Yay. entertainment. Then she betrays the mercenaries for some reason, and that's your lot. For the reasons described above, the ten mercenaries so wait, she hires the mercenaries to stop war, then betrays the mercenaries. Seems like an overly uh, played out script that you see in a lot of anime. Oh, yeah, it yeah. does. Mercenaries will now gun battle an infinite number of clones of each other in various enclosed industrial environments for the rest of time. Ooh, maybe they're all dead and in purgatory yards. Oh, shut up, viewer, you always say that. Just because Lost <laughs> confirmed it, you think you know everything now. There's oh. layer of desperate- By the way, by the way, I- I hate Lost. A lot of people didn't like it. Uh, yeah, the season finale. All it was was it, the experience. None of the questions were answered. I wasted a lot of time, and I went to bat for that damn series for far too long. And I made a promise to never let that happen again until Game of Thrones came around and screwed us over with season eight. Lost. Uh, it just. I have. I have. I have a hatred for that series. Uh, it started off great. But then they ended with, oh, enjoy it, the experience. It was Firefly for me. experience. It was Firefly for me. It just, uh, uh, just abruptly, it oh, yeah, didn't yeah. continue, and I just had so many questions about that, But did you see the movie, though? I did. Yeah. A lot of people died for no reason. A lot of people died for no reason in the Firefly movie. 
inspiration yeah. about Cod Blobs 4. If it had a subtitle, well, a sub subtitle, it'd be What the fuck do you people want? It's basically a collection of gameplay modes that several phenomenally popular other games have all done before and less blandly. Its challenge is not so much finding an audience as it is luring that audience away from the games it already has. The ten playable that characters in the I hesitate to call it main multiplayer mode smacks of Overwatch style hero shooters, but the characters just aren't distinct enough. It takes more than different hairdos and a greater variety of accents than a French punctuation manual. They're all basically the same size and speed and their unique weapons and abilities take time to warm up so most of the time is spent running around blasting assault rifles at each other and again there are plenty of games where you can do that, some yeah. of which don't run like complete garbage on graphics cards more than six months old. Yeah. And then of course there's the PUBG mode. We prefer you call it blackout mode, Yarts. Well that's very adorable of you but it'll take more than terminology to disguise the fact that it's just PUBG. PUBG. I suppose there the lesson that Fortnite taught us was that PUBG's audience is completely up for grabs to anyone who can rip off PUBG without being quite so buggy and awful. But there's something particularly cynical about a big AAA franchise doing it, presumably hoping a cosy and familiar name on the top will draw them in like a supermarket owned brand packet of fish fingers. And the third mm -hmm. gameplay mode is that co-op zombies thing that's been hanging around Call of Duty for years now, like a friend zone nice guy constantly thinking they must be one more bad mouthed boyfriend away from getting some of that. Now as you all know, not being into this whole human society thing, I'm not big on online multiplayer and as such don't have much constructive criticism for how the game actually plays. When I joined public matches I'd do a quick poll of the other players and ask them for one small change they'd suggest to balance the game, and Treyarch will be pleased to know that I now have about 85,000 suggestions for very Ooh. simple changes, mm. and they might also be interested to hear that they're all a bunch of cucks. However, there is one criticism I can make with complete confidence, and that's that the entire menu interface is complete dog shit. You wouldn't think this would be difficult, new game options quit, especially yeah. not when there's like a hundred guys working on it, but that's it, isn't it? Boiling an egg is easy, but if you've got a hundred guys in your kitchen trying to boil one egg, you won't achieve much beyond violating the fire code. You have to wade through screen after screen of shitty rectangles to do anything. I was trying to read all the dossiers for the ten characters because god knows I wasn't getting much context from playing as the fuckers, but I had yeah. to go three screens deep and back just to switch characters and the text fucks up in every way it is possible to fuck up a simple text box. There's more uh, than enough space to display all the mm. text at once but they put it in a tiny- All that- all that money from a major game corporation, they can't even do a title screen right. <laughs> I can't even do that. ...box anyway and auto-scroll it, and when it reaches the bottom if you're not finished reading, fuck you, back to the top. It's like trying to read the side of a truck as it rolls down a hill into a burning slurry pit. And I'm harping on it because it reflects the complacency and utter contempt for the audience with which this game thinks it can do nothing but present a box of scraps it ripped off better games and charge a hundred bucks. I suppose the question is, would you prefer to plan a day out to do one specific thing, like scuba diving or seal clubbing, or go to Disneyland and do four or five shallow imitations of interesting things, or with this constant nagging sense that someone's trying to steal all your money and children. Oh god. <sighs> well, Man. uh that's a perfect review of I guess Call of Duty Black Ops 4 and I'm just going to keep my opinion to myself on this one but I'll just keep it short and simple. Um I won't be playing back Black Ops 4 Call of Duty. So, uh yeah, I'm not at a loss. I'm just saying goodbye Call of Duty. <laughs> I mean, I didn't even ever play one, so uh, and yeah. But still, so, what, what, what does it say about a major corporation that I can't it do a video game? It with? says a lot. It says a lot. I know that. Yeah, there was once a time when video game companies did actually care. Yeah, back in the anymore. day. Not anymore. Not anymore like they used to. Yeah, you gotta find your rare gems now. Now they're a rare gem, but I'm not spending 130 bucks today now. Not 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 130 bucks. That's like nine or seven items at Costco. Ugh. Not, no, Not no, for that price. No, no dice for me. All right. Um, I think that's about it. Thank you so much, Corsair 4444. We do appreciate uh, this recommendation, and thank you for giving us a heads up about why Call of Duty Black Ops 4 is a bunch of piss. All right. Zero punctuation there. All right. See you guys. Bye.